Okay, welcome back everybody. You remember in part one, we looked at the uh, uh, Stuart Warner uh, 13.5 U2 and we changed the filter caps out and we actually brought it up in power and, and, and got it to play some. We had a problem with the uh, uh, volume control. I sprayed that, took it outside and sprayed that. And uh, you can see it, it uh, seems to be okay for now. So what I'd like to do, instead of changing all the capacitors and bringing it back up, we're going to look at um, the schematic. And if I can find a pointer or a pencil or something. Uh, I was talking to my good buddy uh, Bob of Robert Gibbon's YouTube channel. And... Uh, he suggested that we go first, a couple of capacitors to uh, change out, would be this coupling capacitor here, number 27, between uh, the 12SQ7 and the output tube 50L6, and see uh, if there's any uh, improvement thereof. Also, he, then we will go and do number 19, which is also and uh, this is in the AVC circuit. So we'll probably go after this one and then uh, try it and see if there's any improvement. And then um, we will uh, come back and do this one. Um, and uh, before we do that, uh, we'll run through the band and look and see how it sounds. And uh, I've got it hooked up to not an outside antenna, but a, a larger antenna that's inside the house. And I am in a basement, so this is a fairly local station. A little bit of trace of one there. This is the local station coming... There's another station there. There's the local station. It's not very far, not very far at all. You just hear a lot of noise. But we do have some stations. There's another one there. So we are receiving fair. Uh, so let's go after that coupling capacitor. And number 27, I believe that is a 0 0.01 capacitor. And let me power this down and then we will uh, locate it physically in the uh, under the, the chassis. All right, let's take a look at this. Here's uh, capacitor number 27. It's the coupling capacitor between the uh, 12 SQ7 and the uh, output tube 50L6. As you can see, it's uh, attached to pin 6, which is the plate, and it goes to the grid of the 50L6, which is pin 5. All right, this is the uh, 12 SQ7 and there's the uh, uh, 50 L6 output tube. Now <clears throat> let's look and see uh, if you can see down in here. Here's the key and let's it's on uh, pin 5 so let's count them. 3, 5. So it's right there it's that uh, red spaghetti right in there. And of course, this is the capacitor itself here, and then it goes to this pin here, and you can count it as one, there's a key, one, two, three, four, five, six, right there, so, pin six, so there we go. I'm going to change that one out.
right there. As you can see, I went ahead and changed this. Uh, a viewer from last time had emailed me and uh, was asking about this capacitor here. I changed it when I did the uh, filter caps and the, this one up under the terminal strip itself is number 22 which is uh, on the plate of the uh, of the uh, 50L6 uh, and it uh, goes from the plate to the cathode of that tube and 22 that is a 0 0.02 so I, cha I changed that when I changed all these so I've got this one changed now while I was here I went ahead and checked I was on those uh, terminals I went ahead and checked um, these 470 K uh, resist resistors here and here since I was on the terminals so if I was desoldering the terminals I, I made sure that these were good they were well within tolerance all right, let's uh, try that and see if it receives any better. Turn the power on. Everything's looking good. Uh, I didn't bring it up slowly. I uh, just went ahead and um, it's less than 200 milliamps. And so it's running about 115 volts or so. So let's turn it up. Let's turn off this light. It causes some interference sometimes. See a difference? I think uh, just my opinion it sounds better here of course I've got it covered up it does make a difference let's go down to the weaker station I don't think it's helping the reception itself but I think as far as the tone quality and less distortion All right, let's go after that other one let's go after capacitor number 19 which is right here in this part of the circuit it goes to pin 6 of the 12SA7. <clears throat> this is part of the uh, AVC circuit. Comes off uh, at 11 is a 2.2 meg uh, resistor and then it goes through the antenna which feeds back into the 12SA7 uh, grid. Okay, so here's the 12SA7, and I said pin 6, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, here is a 0 .05 microfarads, which that matches uh, the uh, number 19, and it comes over and connects to the end of the 2.2 meg resistor so this is uh, number 19 so let's go after that one replace it and then try it and see how it affects the operation okay we've changed the uh, capacitor out and uh, I noted I put it on my little magic box it had a 1% uh, voltage loss on it so um, when I checked the uh, the one over here it 
didn't it, it showed uh, it looked good uh, there was no loss or internal resistance this one had a 1% voltage loss and both of them were close in value according to my magic box so let's plug it up and see what happens all right turn it on let's rock and roll current everything still looks good it's one of the things let me make a comment uh, you know, if you have a radio that's playing somewhat in the beginning, it, it's always good to change a component, check your components, change them out, and try it again. That way, when you get to at the end, if you've changed them all out, you don't really know if you've made a mistake, per se, uh, if the thing doesn't work. So then you've got all the troubleshooting to go. So, you know, if you've got one that's working, you progress, you go on uh, and see how it works. Uh, you know, if you, if you change a component and it quits working, then you know that it's something that you may have done there. All right. I can tell that the AVC works a little better. Sounds like it may be working a little bit better. Let's go down to low end. Probably not receiving any more of the weak signals, but as far as the tone quality, it's better. Right. But this is my local station that I listen to a little bit. This does do it a lot. They've changed the format somewhat. Okay, I've replaced the 0.2 uh, microfarad capacitor. Uh, if you'll notice this end, I, I did the corkscrew, pigtail it, whatever, because it was soldered to the chassis, which takes a lot of heat, so I just uh, use the pigtail. It's effective and uh, that way you don't have to use a lot of heat there. And it's been uh, connected here. Uh, I'll have to redo this section when I get ready to change these two because I really want to take this apart and uh, clean this up when I replace these two capacitors. But for now it's, it's sorted really good on it. But uh, we'll desorder it and clean it up when uh, when we get to those two. Let's uh, try it and see if that made any difference. Okay, let's done turn it on and let it warm up a little bit. Hit no copyright, but that sounds a little better. It probably sound better. I get that cover off. Let's go up here to this one. I got. While I'm thinking of that, uh, I'm supposed to get a couple of knobs today. Uh, Wayne, Wayne Thompson, one of my subscribers, he, uh, he put me on to uh, a couple of uh, uh, Stuart Warner knobs. Uh, and they're, they're brown, and, but uh, I've, like we've said in the beginning, I've seen several different types. So I'm waiting for the mail to come. Should be. I, I may have to go. It's 3 o'clock. I may go check. It may be in the mail. But um, it sounds a little better. But if you'll notice when I, I, get, a, I get more of a hum. When I'm doing that. So anyway. What do you guys think? You think it sounds any better?
Okay, I got the knobs. I don't know if y'all can see those, but they're the Stuart Warner knobs and uh, kind of brown. Doesn't look too bad, I don't think. We'll see how it looks when we get it back in the cabinet. All right, let's change this one, number 17, which is a 0.2 microfarad that comes from the cathode of the IF uh, tube, uh, the 12SK7, and goes to the negative, uh, or the B minus, the common, uh, common negative. Uh, it's located right here, and, and if anybody's going to say, hey, wait a minute, I see that there's no wire there. I've already clipped it, and I realized I didn't video what I was planned on doing, so uh, it's clipped, and so we're going to go ahead and install one and then try it and see how it sounds. Got this uh, capacitor changed out. Also checked uh, the 100 ohm resistor. It was within tolerance. Uh, this is a uh, 680 ohm resistor here. It's within tolerance. So the resistors are looking pretty good. So let's uh, let's fire it up. We're down to one, two, three, four capacitors that's left. So let's just uh, see what this does uh, uh, when we fire it up. Okay. Done fired it up, letting it warm a little bit. Current's up just a little bit more. I think it improved it. What do you guys think? Let's go down here. Now I'm getting close to 5 p.m. So the uh, signals are going to be starting to do some skip. Of course, this is my that's my standby old reliable. I think that I think that uh, capacitor uh, improved improved the reception. I really do. I was looking at uh, replacing this uh, point two. 0.02, uh, but uh, I looked up here and I saw this coupling capacitor on the volume control. So I said, well, that's, um, and that's a, a, a 0.004 microfarad. So I thought how that would affect it. So looked and of course coming off the wiper of the uh, volume control, there's the 0 0.004. Uh, so We'll go after that one and see what it what it does. Got that replaced. Let's power it up and see how it sounds. Okay, I uh, let it warmed up a little bit. These are the farther away stations, weaker stations. They seem to sound better. Seem to be more of them. Not that why that would receive any better. I don't know. 
but the local one I'll have to check that on another on my car radio it seems like it's a bit distorted anyway so but the rest of them seem fairly clear even though they're weaker but it seems to be receiving really well so while we're at it let's look real quick let's go after number 26 here which is a coupling capacitor number 26 is a 0 0.01 um, and it's in the uh, first detector oscillator circuit so let's uh, change that one out and see what it what it does and of course here is the capacitor should be easy to get to it's 0 0.01 it goes from the 12SA7 to the oscillator coil itself. I was a bit concerned at the distortion and slight hum. But I went upstairs on my stereo and the local station is slightly distorted with a little bit of hum. But they've been having troubles and it's really hard to compare a radio <laughs> how it sounds if if the local station is messed up now the, the other ones are clear they're just weaker got this one replaced and uh, checked it on my magic box and it had a five percent loss so let's see if uh, that does anything for it got it uh, warmed up got the volume up quite a bit the low end of the band there's not that much going on around here there's usually one in here somewhere not having much luck sometimes they're on the air sometimes they're not I mean I hadn't verified that they're on or off right now but I could tell after changing this one since it's in the uh, detector and oscillator circuit that it seemed to be a little bit more sensitive hint of a station there of course here we go I don't think I could receive that one while ago All right, I think that one improved it quite a bit. So let's go after the other ones. Went ahead and changed this capacitor out. It's going from the volume control to the floating ground. It's not the volume control, I'm sorry, the on-off switch, which is uh, uh, one of the AC sides. This is uh, the uh, number 20 capacitor uh, so I replaced it and I told you I was going to clean up this terminal and I did I got all the junk off of it and all the excess wires and what have you and <clears throat> I went ahead and tacked in or put installed this end of this capacitor but this end is still floating and I tacked this one in so that we can test the new capacitor and still have the old one in then we can just take this one loose and put this in and then we can test that last one to see how this sounds okay I hope that extra lead hanging in that capacitor in there doesn't cause some sort of issue but
If it improved anything, then it's minimal. Radio station sounding better. I think they may have got their problem straightened out. I'll have to double check that. Sounding better. Okay, let's uh, change that last one out. Okay, got... Uh, this one changed out and all this cleaned up. You're probably looking in here and say, well, no, you've got uh, a molded. Uh, th this is a mica capacitor and here's a mica capacitor, but you're looking at these black ones here. Let me see if I can get you a better shot of that. Right down in here. Right here and here, here and here and here and over here breaking in new cameraman so anyway uh and here well <clears throat> this one over here on the output tube is it, these are resistors by the way these are wire wound resistors uh encapsulated uh, this is right here on the output tube is this resistor 140 ohm resistor here and these two over on the rectifier tube are the 22 and 33 ohm resistors that uh, deals with the bulb uh, and in the th line of the filament so those are not capacitors and they're within specs so we're not going to mess with them or change them so let's let's one final try uh, see how it plays with the all the components changed out all right I can almost hear a station where that one is uh, of course this It's almost noon. I checked the uh, this station upstairs on my stereo, and it's a lot clearer now. So they've they've been working on their station. That doesn't help my testing much. Them them having their frequency off a little bit, and then me trying to run tests <laughs> at the same time. But things happen. So. You may have to go through an alignment. But um, a lot of midday noise. Sounds pretty good without the noise. We'll run through an alignment, and see how it does, but I think we're going to wind this one up for right now. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, uh, hit subscribe, share it, uh, or like. And uh, so. We'll come back next time. Uh, I don't know when we're going to get to the cabinet. Uh, the weather is changing. Um, so if I can get some good weather this next week, we may go towards the cabinet. So from Larry, from the hills of Tennessee, thanks for watching. <laughs>